Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I want to show you a little stove. This stove is designed for outside use. Uh, I purchased mine through Sportsman's Guide. Uh, I paid $71.99 because I'm in the Buyers Club uh, and they had free shipping. Now you can find this elsewhere. They're all over Amazon. They're everywhere and some of them are cheaper than $71. But when, when you add in the price of the shipping, they come out to about the same, about $71. So you might be able to find them cheaper. So look, Amazon. Um, I purchased one, uh, this one right here. And then what I did was I purchased two more. I think it was Black Friday. They had a four-hour special, um, $58 and change and free shipping so 59 bucks so i bought two more because i like my first one so much uh these are made in china um you know they're 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 cheaply made but they're going to function i mean they're no cadillac here but they're going to get the job done the reason i bought these uh this is for my outdoor cooking um and i need three because basically you can put one big size frying pan on there and if you have to cook food for a lot of people or you're cooking eggs and bacon you might need a little bit more surface area let me go over the stove with you um there's it's no frills but it gets the job done now there's two models out there i've seen there's a model that has a trap door where you can push your uh, ash out and I believe these things are a lot bigger I think mean, big enough maybe to do a baked potato um, in tin foil push them in there and cook them this thing has a lot of uses you can do that and you can dry clothes um, so there's there's a lot of uses for this and you just have to use your imagination with this system on top but you can put a pan on here and it works great the legs are adjustable as you can see uh, so you might because of uneven ground have these some of them all the way flush and some not so you have about an inch of adjustment I found that very helpful on uneven ground as you can see I took some conduit half inch conduit and I made some longer legs this is so much more comfortable uh, being at this height um, that way you can just throw stuff in standing up you don't have to bend over and look at your fire it comes with three pieces of your stack and a cap. Go ahead, if you're going to use it a lot, get a number 10 can. That way, if you leave it outside um, and it rains, at least water's not going to go down there. Basic little stove. Let me show you what I did on this one. You could, in an emergency, if you built a shanty or you, you had to live in a a tent or a cardboard box or something where you need some heat now that'd be dangerous because it's not designed to do that but you could do it in a worst case this is muffler pipe uh, six dollars for that piece six dollars for that piece uh, and then I bought one coupling right there so I got fifteen dollars but this will let me take it and do what I'm doing now um, I want to be able to uh, cook when it's pouring down rain and, and this will let me do that this is the first time I've used these pipes um, so this is my test run. I've used this a bunch of times. Um, so it's actually working flawlessly. I left the stickers on because I could not get them off. I uh, probably should have spent a little bit more time. They smoked a little bit, but the smoke's pretty much gone. I'm going to paint this uh, with the high temperature black paint. I got some of that right here. So I will paint those just for looks. Um, I've read some reviews. Some people said that their paint burned off. Um, I've had a lot of fires in here and I do have some paint burning off right there. So I'm gonna hit it, hit it with uh, the black paint so it doesn't rust. Let me show you what I've done on the outside of this. I mean, I love propane, but when your propane is gone, wood is something I have unlimited and pretty much supply. So let's go up here and show you what I did temporarily. I staked the stack so it won't fall over that's very important and I cut this piece I have a, a bunch of this on all kinds of sizes so what I'm thinking about doing is if this works good I'm gonna cut a big piece and I'm gonna put, be able to put two stoves here one stove here and probably have like a four uh, by three foot piece of this metal I'll cut the holes in it so I can space them apart 
uh, I'll put a little bit more angle on that and I have some of the high temperature black silicone uh, that I would silicone that that way water can't run down it that way if it rains it's going to hit this and run off here um, but it's working excellent I added one piece of stack from the other one I stole it just to experiment so I probably will be buying some more of this pipe uh, having it on hand For me, I have to be able to, to cook food and a lot of it. If you have no electricity, you have no hot water. So you're gonna be using a ton uh, of fuel to heat water and the only way I can do that long-term is with wood. I think these are well worth the money. For me, it's solving a problem. It's gonna let me cook. I've cooked eggs on it, boiled water, cooked bacon, cooked everything. Um, the heat on top is not the same as my gas grill. It's a little bit less, so it probably took me uh, probably about a minute and a half um, longer or two minutes longer to cook my eggs compared to if I used the stove inside. But that's a small trade-off for a uh, fuel that's readily available. I am going to try with these without the curves in it an extra stack because I think it draws better. So definitely going to buy extra stacks, going to buy some more elbows. Uh, the elbows in the coupling for this setup was 15 bucks, so not a bad price. I'm showing you this. What I'd like you to do, I have a bunch of stuff that I've been buying uh, to try to get my homestead uh, somewhat more comfortable for m many more people. So you need to make a list because I'm going to be showing you a lot of products and I hate showing people products. I don't want them just go, oh, that's cool. Let's go buy it. Make a list of items uh, that you need. And if I show you something that you need, it's just to say, hey, there's a lot of options out here. Um, this option for me is working. It might not work for you. So make your list. Uh, I'm going to be showing you the Firefly maybe tomorrow. To me, you can cook on it, but I don't really use it as a cooking device. I use it as a lantern device to provide a little bit more light. So I'll be showing you that. If you got any questions, holler. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds of small stoves out there. Uh, there's some American-made ones. Uh, there's ones that cost over $100, and I've seen them up to $300. This is the bottom of the line, and for me, it's working great. Uh, I have no problems with it. So I, I might get tempted uh, uh, some part of the uh, letter, letter in the year 2016. I might buy a little bit better one and test it and compare it and, and see if these cheaper ones uh, will be fine or if the uh, more expensive ones are definitely worth the money. Anytime you're burning outside with a stove, make sure you got a fire extinguisher or a bucket of water uh, just for that emergency. If you're working in a grid down situation, you might not be able to get the fire department. So you have to be your own fire department. Thanks for watching.